Now, the health alert concerning swine flu continues to grow as we're learning about more states with confirmed cases of the disease. However, as of now, there is still no confirmed case of the outbreak here in Florida. Here's a look at where swine flu has been found in the U.S. so far. Between federal and state health experts, we're hearing that there are now 133 cases in 16 states, including a case in Georgia. We first heard of the outbreak, you'll remember, originating in Mexico about six days ago. And tonight, Mexico's health secretary says the number of new swine flu cases is stabilizing. 168 are suspected dead there from the disease. But as more cases spring up here in the United States, more of us are becoming certainly conscious of keeping clean. Channel 4's Jennifer Bauer is live right now. She spoke with a local doctor to find out what we should all be doing to prevent getting the disease ourselves, Jen. You know, Jen, I'm standing here at my desk in the middle of the newsroom, and I don't get into work every day just like you until after 2 o'clock. So all morning and all afternoon, people are sitting here. They're using my keyboard. They're using my phone. And if you work at a large office, you probably experience the same thing. But what we wanted to know is simply taking a disinfecting wipe and cleaning your work surface. Is it enough to keep you from getting safe? Probably not. As more cases of the swine flu pop up all over the country, more people are taking precautions to protect themselves from getting it. Dr. Vandana Bide came to the Channel 4 newsroom to show us what we all should be doing at work and at home. Dr. Bide says start with your workspace and a good disinfecting wipe. These say they kill the flu virus. And the doctor says that includes the swine flu. The surfaces that most people would use frequently. But I want to emphasize you don't, you don't have to go crazy and, you know, and disinfect all uh, the surfaces. Stopping the spread of germs is most important. And Dr. Bide says... That starts with sneezing. Now what we recommend is sneezing into your elbow. When you wash your hands, you need to use soap and warm water. Scrub for 15 to 20 seconds, then use paper towel to turn off the faucet. And one of the dirtiest surfaces in your office building? Well, it could be your water cooler. And that's because when people refill their plastic bottles, they put this mouthpiece right up to the spigot. And that can transfer germs. Dr. Bide says if you only take away one thing from tonight, let it be this. Wash your hands frequently. Try to avoid touching your eyes. Try to avoid touching your nose. And you know, the doctor couldn't stress enough how important it is to keep washing your hands. And she said in between washings, it's really important to use one of these hand sanitizers to make sure it works properly. She says rub it until it's dry. Jennifer Bauer, Channel 4, the local station. And Jen, assuming here for a minute that someone does get it, how long are they contagious? Well, you know, Jen, we did check the CDC website and they said a person becomes contagious one day before they have symptoms. So you could have the swine flu, not even know it, and be contagious. And then seven days after the onset of symptoms, you're still contagious. All right, Jennifer Bauer, of course, that means that you can, in that amount of time, whoever you come into contact with could get it. All right, certainly uh, interesting information. Thank you, Jen.